Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Stuck Like Glue by Sugarland. And it starts out with some really cool percussion stuff that you could even try to simulate on your guitar if you wanted to. And then when we kind of hit our intro, we're starting on a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Oh, and we're going to talk about where we're going to move this for key in a moment because we're going to end up sixth fret with a capo in a moment. But, but, but the way you play G major to start it, we're going to put first finger on the A string, second fret, second finger on the low E on the third fret, and third finger on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to go to a D major chord. And when we play D major, First finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. The second finger is going to go to the high on the second fret. The third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds like a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And when we play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. The second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. The third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And that's a lot of our song, actually, is just those three chords. We got G major, D major, C major, C major, G major, D major, C major, C major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it a little bit more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just tried that a lot on the G. We'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. First chorus progression we have the G down up, up down E down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down down up, up down G down down up, up down D down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down down up, up down G down down up, up down D down down up, up down C down down up, up down C down down up, up down G down. our verse and at the end of our verse well, we go to an A minor chord and when you play A minor first finger is going to kind of stay on the B string first fret second finger on the D string second fret and third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really really happy or really sad, really sad. alright and then from the A minor we're going to go to the D major chord and then at the end of the very first verse, there's kind of this big hit on the D where you do a down with a down and then kind of take your right hand and kind of kill the strings. And that happens a couple times actually during the tune where you hear stops like that, where you may want to do kind of a down, kill it kind of idea, like with the right hand. So we try to strum pattern through that very last part of the verse. We have A minor down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, B, down, kill it. And then we'd be on our chorus part, which is basically going back to that G, D, C, C. So we tried our strum pattern through our chorus, and there's this little variation at the end where we do A minor twice, C, and then a big hit on D. So we tried our strum pattern through our chorus. We have G down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down. going to be repeating those parts through through our song. Now one weird thing is to play along with Sugarland, instead of starting on a G major chord, they're actually starting on a C sharp major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 6th fret, then now your G major is really a C sharp major, and your D major is really a G sharp major, and your C is really an F sharp major. And when we get to it, the A minor is really a D sharp minor. So we took it from the very beginning that way, we kind of have our intro, we got the G down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'd be going into our verse part. So we have G down, up, up, down, D down.
into our chorus part. So we got our G down, up, up, down, C down, down, up. simulate playing with a bass player. So for instance on the G chord you have the low E for your bass and then kind of keep your down up and down. So G low E bass down up, up down G low E bass down up, up down G low E bass down up, up down. On the D chord you have the D string for your bass. So G with the D bass down up, up down G with the D bass down up, up down G with the D bass down up, up down. And then on the C chord you have the A string for your bass. So C with an A bass down That way we have G with low E bass down up, up down D with the D bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down G with low E bass down up, up down D with a D bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down G with low E bass down up, up down D with a D bass down up, up down C with an A bass down. with low E bass down up, up down D with a D bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down G with low E bass down up, up down D with a D bass down up, up down and then there's a random C down kill it. And then you're holding on. Yeah, and then we're back. G with low E bass down up, up down D with a D bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down C with an A bass down up, up down A bar with an A bass down up. If you want to follow the bass player, then you'd be doing the G major, and then an A minor, and then a C major, and then another C major. But if you want to follow the guitar part, then you'd be going G, D, C, C. So you kind of have an option there, but I'm going to follow the G, A minor, C, C just to try that. So we tried that with our bass down, up, up, down. We'd have G with low E bass down, up, up, down, 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 There's almost like a change of feel to something called reggae. And, and a reggae feel, actually, what, what you would do is kind of that bass down up that we're doing, but then you would kill the strings and then do another down and then kill it at the end. So you'd have G with low E bass, down, up, kill it, down, G with low E bass, down, up, kill it, down, G with low E bass, down, up, kill it, down. And then on your D chord, you have the D for your bass. Same idea, bass, down, up, kill it, down, kill it, bass, down, up, kill it, down, kill it, bass, down, up. Down, and then on the C chord you have the A string for your bass. So C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down, C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down, C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down, and on the A minor you have the A string for your bass. 
on the A minor chord. So A minor with an A bass down, and kill it down. A minor with an A bass down, and kill it down. So we tried that through our bridge with the G A minor C C change. We have G with low E bass down, down. A minor with an A bass down, down C with an A bass down, and kill it down. C with an A bass down, and kill it down. G with low E bass down, and kill it down. A minor with an A bass down. something else you want to try and then at the end of the bridge we kind of go back to that G D C C change so we got G with low E bass down and kill it down D with an E bass down and kill it down C with an A bass down and kill it down C with an A bass down and kill it down G with low E bass down and kill it down D with an E bass down and kill it down C with an A bass down and kill it down C with an A bass down and kill it down G with low E bass down and kill it down D with an E bass down and kill it down C with an A bass down and kill it and then there's kind of another C stop time and then from there, we kind of go back to our chorus, kind of for our outro. So we try our chorus with, with, with our reggae feel. We have G with low E bass down, and kill it. Down D with an E bass down, and kill it. Down C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down G with low E bass down, and kill it. Down D with an E bass down, and kill it. Down C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down C with an A bass down, and kill it. Down G with low E bass down, and kill it. Down D with an E bass down. That's the basics of how you can strum along with Stuck Like Glue by Sugarland. So good luck!